Um, and then there is the main event, which is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship, which is Roman Reigns, our tribal chief, versus Sami Zayn, our underdog hero. This segment may last an hour. I know. But this this segment to... may be like a Netflix episode. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You know, I, well, and we I'm have counting. Couple, we do have like, a couple comments about this, too. So we'll want to okay. make sure we take that on there. Okay. Um, I'm expecting combined with a maybe intro segment with them before the intro of the pay-per-view, you know, maybe a backstage segment or two, and then the entire match, like, over 110. Easily. It's going to dominate the show. Oh, As yeah. it should, though. As it should. It's and I'm going to be Cody in there. If Cody comes out or Cody's backstage or something. I, I don't think they'll have it. Cody involved. I'm just saying for purposes of people going, oh, what about Cody? Is the is he? I in think there? that is would be overshadowing. There? But it would be. But I think there are so down. many different ways that this match can go. Because I mean, if you ask me right now what I think is gonna happen, obviously Roman's retaining. That's that's just what my gut feeling is. But because of that segment between Cody and Sammy on Raw, because Cody said he wouldn't be against having a triple threat, because these storylines are so hot right now, I really wouldn't be surprised if it came down to a triple threat. Even if I don't necessarily want that to happen, um, it might be what they have to do because they have to t you know, keep going when, when the card is hot right now, and that is Sammy, Roman, and Cody. Um, and I think that's what's kind of nice. Like, obviously, Sammy's not going to win. I cannot imagine them taking the titles off of Roman only a month and a half before Mania. But I'm interested to see, like, how much of the bloodline gets involved. Do we see Jay turn on Sammy? Do we see him uh, defend Sammy? Like, how everything can happen, I think, is what's the most exciting part. Not to mention, it's going to be really awesome to see Sammy versus roman i'm just we've been waiting so long for that that pop he's gonna get from his oh hometown God. crowd is going to be deafening he it said might that he down. might use his old music like the the traditional sammy music you know oh okay yeah. I, I read about how um you know people want that that song back and he said that he kind of feels like that song's been there done that like he needs something new but he said that it might be fun to use in montreal and i'm like can you imagine if he he has to use it in montreal he like even to. if it's just a one-off it's fine just come out it's like with the uh, mcintyre broken dreams yeah like do it i dream broken dreams why'd you you even said it like with a little irish accent there I'll make <laughs> them come true <laughs> But it's like he's Scottish, dude. Um, but yeah, it's no, I think potato. that would be. Oh, don't let them hear you say that. It was well, tomato uh, potatoes are two different things. Okay, um, but oh. yeah, I think there's a lot of ways. Um, but we do have Freddie who's saying because we did talk about Owens and Sammy being the pairing for a Mania match against the Usos. He says any chance KO turns on Sammy Saturday, that might be the only way to get Sammy out of this storyline and get the fans fully behind Cody. Fans are fully behind Cody at this yeah, point. Yeah, um, but also, I, I think there are ways to get Sammy out of this without it being KO turning. I don't think KO is going to turn on Sammy. No. But I do not. think that it could work easily if Jay turns on Sammy. If yes. Jay reveals like, oh, you know, like what I was saying when we talked about SmackDown, I think if Jay's a mole for the bloodline, like I think that that could be a really huge factor because he's going to think that he had, you know, Jay had his back and he thought that he still had somewhat of an in with the bloodline or, you know, a genuine relationship or friendship with somebody. And if Jay squashes that, I feel like that betrayal would be enough for him to be like, F this, we're going for the tag titles. And yeah. I'm going to take, you know, the guy that's been a pest to you guys is going to be KO. Um, 
Freddie also said he followed that up with, I don't think putting Sammy in a tag match at WrestleMania is the way to go either. I don't think fans are going to go for that. They want Sammy in the main event no matter what. So having KO turn on him in Canada. No, you won't turn on think, him. It makes no sense because yeah, it, I don't it, think so. too much. That's like a big show face heel uh, flop within two weeks of each other. Well, it does like, make sense. Well, Owens hasn't been on TV yeah, for and- a few weeks, but I think the biggest part of – well, one of the biggest parts about Sammy finally turning on Roman was because it was coming to the defense of Owens, and that was the part of people have been looking forward to as well because it was like everyone knows their their friendship and how far back they go, and um, I think that was part of the excitement, not just turning on the bloodline, but the – reunion between those two Mm -hmm. i think that they've done a good enough job to get people behind cody and the sentimental value behind him winning the championship um i think that they could easily transition uh sammy out and i think the fact that it would be against the usos who people are still i mean they're supposed to be the bad guys especially if jay turns on sammy it's easy for people to get behind sammy and kevin to to be tag team champions it's really easy doing it right now I'm getting behind it right now. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm doing it like, right now. Can't you right tell? Now. I'm sitting here doing it right so now. Locked in to it. Yeah. I think I, yeah. I mean, and again, like they did tease a possibility of a uh, triple threat, but I feel like that's, it would almost be a disservice to both Sammy and to Cody, because I think that, you know, Cody won the Royal Rumble, and I'm sure he's expecting it to be a one-on-one match. And I think that if Sammy were to lose at Elimination Chamber, I don't know how they would be like, oh, yeah. Like, if he won clean. Okay, we're saying if he won uh, lost yeah, clean. clean. Lost clean. Yeah, lost clean. Why would he get a rematch at Mania? You know, like, how would they write that in? So, he doesn't um, deserve a rematch. It's not in his clause. He says, what if Jay doesn't turn on Sammy? Then what do you do? I think that's the only thing. But I don't know. Because there is also so much time, like we said, between Elimination Chamber and Mania. There's literally anything that they can do. So I don't know that the end-all be-all is whatever happens at Elimination Chamber. And that is going to be what projects everything for the storylines going into Mania. I I think that there's still too much time for them to build stuff. But I think this is the thing, right? What's great about this is that we are in a time where there is so much good stuff happening and we have a new guy in creative that we have no idea what's going to happen. There are so many possibilities. No idea. And um, it, it's nice that we can sit here and actually debate and speculate and, and uh, talk about all of what the possibilities are. I think that's really cool. 